other Jimmy. In in sort of a similar spirit to you, I've been playing F1 2020 online and having a terrible time. It has, <laughs> it has this horrendous mechanic where if someone crashes into you, your safety rating goes down as well. Um, so I've gone from a high B to a low D because as, mm-hmm. I, as I've dropped down the safety ranks, I've just been experiencing more and more idiots and more people crashing into you. You know, the worst offenders are the ones that don't break for corners and just wipe you out. And the second worst offenders are ones who prevent you from overtaking them no matter what. So they just ram you off the road. And it is incredibly frustrating because I just, I can't build my safety rating up because if I'm faster than someone, they just take me out. And it's just been getting worse and worse. So Codemasters really need to fix that because I'm not going to play online again until it's better because it's, it's just pointless. Like, so frustrating i guess it's yeah. something that it could be amazing but you just need to play with like like-minded people that want yeah. to play yeah. it properly 2019 i managed to get an a rating for safety and it's a different game when you're playing with people who are taking it seriously and unfortunately i think it just takes a few weeks or months for the idiots to disappear so because i was playing <laughs> i was playing 2019 quite late and i think these sort of people who are only messing about will get bored eventually uh, the career mode's fantastic. I've done the first four races, just so in depth. I've built up my, um, I'm building up my car. I'm upgrading it. Uh, lots of stuffs failing, like my upgrades are failing. But it's a very slow process. But you can feel the progression. Um, I've got it on the hardest difficulty, and it's really, really hard to drive out drive your car. So basically, I'm very limited by the car. But if you do all the practice programs. Um, you can get a lot of like uh, R&D points to spend on the car. So I've been spending probably about an hour practicing for a 45 minute race. And it's, it's just, it's just the dream F1 game. Like Cause it's, cause <laughs> it's starting your own team, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. Like, it's a lot of work. And I think a lot of people who are not interested in find in F1 would find it incredibly dull, but I've, I've been in heaven for the last like couple of weeks <laughs> playing this. It's so good. Um, I also, I'd, I, yesterday was one of my first days off in a very, very long time, and I put six hours into Red Dead Redemption 2, which I picked up last week, and it's probably the most beautiful game I've ever played. It looks absolutely stunning. There's times when you, it just looks realistic. It's that good. Um, there was one... I've done the first sort of... I've done the first chapter, and I'm halfway through the second, and there's one mission in the second chapter where you have to rob a train... And it's just, it's one of the best missions I've ever played in any game. Rockstar have done an amazing job with this. It's so much better than uh, GTA V, in my opinion. Um, just like when you st- stood at the top of the hill and you watched the train come around the corner, like the sunlight, it just looks, it's so stylized, but looks realistic at the same time. Like the colors of the sun and the sky and like the, the fog are all around. Just really, really, really beautiful game. Um it's very in depth. Like, basically, it's a very slow game. It doesn't feel like a game in that way. That you have to do everything sort of step by step. Like, when you rob somebody, you don't just pick up items. You you actually have to like look in their pockets and then take something. So, I read some complaints online that it's very slow paced. You have to kill an animal, then you have to skin it, then you have to cut up the meat. It's not just like you walk over the animal and you've got everything. And actually, I enjoy that. I think. It's it's just very, very slow and very deliberate. And I can see myself putting probably up to 100 hours into this game. But it's going to be one of those that I'll just play in the background and take my time with. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can also check out our other great content on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the Any Cafe podcast from all good podcast providers. Just follow the links in the description below.